Welcome bow makers to a fun and very simple boutique hair bow tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this style hair bow and you are going to be amazed at how easy it is. So to get started, first you're going to need a template. And here's the examples of my templates. And as you can see, they're nothing special. You just need some thick paper or poster board, cardboard. This is from a pack of buttons and these are just postcards um, so you don't need anything fancy you just need something that's a little thick so that you can cut it to the measurement you need so this is a four and a half a three and a half and a two and a half and each of these will make a four inch bow a three inch bow or a two inch bow so basically you cut your piece of um, cardstock or whatever half an inch bigger than what the size bow you would like to make so we're going to demonstrate today with the um, four and a half inch template and it makes this size bow which is about a four inch bow and for this for a four inch bow you want to use um, at least one and a half inch wide ribbon so today we're going to use this style ribbon and the best part is you don't even have to cut your ribbon beforehand so you don't have to remember how big of a piece of ribbon you need all you need is your template and your and this part width of your template doesn't matter it just this part needs to be four and a half inches or whatever um, size bow you're using so it doesn't matter how wide you know this is a decent size about four inches so that's about all you need but this is the part that really matters so you're going to take your ribbon and start at the top and you just place it right along the edge and then you're just going to wrap and you don't want to pull so tight to where you bend your paper like that. So you just want to, you know, make it, you know, just right around. And then you're go, going to overlap about half an inch. And you're going to do that twice. And then once you have it, twice around. So you have your beginning here, then one, two loops, and then one, two loops, and here's your end. We're just going to cut that off, just like that. Now we are done with our ribbon. And you can see I marked the middle of my piece of paper, so I kind of put my hand right there so I can kind of judge where the middle is. But you don't have to do that. You can just eye it, and then you're just going to slide your template right out. And that's why you don't want to wrap too tight, because then you can't pull it out. And then this is the hardest part of the whole thing, is folding your ribbon. And with your wider ribbon, it is going to be a little bit easier. So you're just going to fold down, and then pick one side to start with, and you're just accordion folding, as, and you want your last piece to face down. That's the main part there. And then you're going to do the other side, fold, fold, and down. So both of your ends should be facing down. And then, oops, I thought I had my wire cut. This is the kind of wire I use. It's 26 gauge, just for a wire. It's best to have your wire already cut. Okay. And then you're just going to wrap around your center, just like that. And then now, because it's not super tight yet, you can kind of look and see if you need to move it, if you're not, weren't right in the center, if you needed to move it, but that looks pretty good. So now I take a pair of pliers and pull my wire tight, both sides, just like that, and then just cut off your extra. And I always use a different pair of scissors for my wire. You don't want to use your scissors that you cut fabric and ribbon with. For your wire and then I squeeze my middle tight and flat so that it, I know it's nice and secure so then all you have left is to trim your edges and you can either do them angled like I'm gonna do or you can also do the fishtail like that just gonna do, actually I'll do the fishtail so I can show so you're just gonna fold your ribbon in half widthwise and then you just make a slant cut so then when you open it, you have your little fish tip. And you do that to the other side. Just like that. 
and then you just want to heat seal these ends so that you don't have any fraying and a lighter is a very easy way to do that. Just run it right along the edge. There you go. You can see that's about four inches wide. And then we just have to add our clip, which I'm going to line an alligator clip, and then our center. So first let me iron this line, not iron, alligator clip. And you just want to make sure you get a good amount of glue. I like to glue the whole thing a couple steps so that you get it nice and secure. And then I go inside the little clip part like that. And that, now you're done. And then you can either do a knot like I did in this one, or for this one we're going to do a flat. So for this I'm just going to wrap it around. And then you just want to make sure you pull out your sides here. Hold it with your fingers. Turn it over and I'm going to put my glue gun up inside there on the sides, glue it, and then glue my clip right there in the middle. Just like that. And we're going to trim our ed piece extra and glue that down. Okay, and there you have it quick, simple, can't mess up bow. It's so beautiful. My girls, I have two girls that are getting a little older. They don't really like this style loopy as much anymore. So this one's a little, you know, more tw tween, I guess. But it's so cute. And then here's just some examples. This is made with the two and a half inch template and this is five eighths inch ribbon. And then this is seven eighths inch ribbon made with the three and a half inch template. So it's fun, easy, you can make a bunch of bows really quickly and anybody can do it just with making some simple templates. And then here's another example of just um, putting something fun in the center. You don't have to always put ribbon, you can add some bling or a button or any kind of um, fun thing for the middle. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.